Alrighty, so uh, we seem to be getting pretty close to it after uh, a pretty brutal day yesterday. <laughs> seems to be back on track. And as you can see, I've managed to just start to get the Raspberry Pi mounted in and an absolute ton of wiring that is nested on top. And I'm really hoping it doesn't do some crazy electronic interference. Um, and you might be able to see just in here, this is some intriguing camera work, um, that basically that's where I've also been chopping up lots of little bits of circuit board to make sure that I can wire in the jog wheel and the buttons, which you can see around here. Obviously still very uh, sexy little cardboard one there. Um, and as you can see, the brass bearing and coupling just down in, in this bit here uh, is also where it should connect everything nicely to the globe and it spins. And if I just put it down, there we go. And you can see this wiper has got pretty accurate tracking all the way along. And although it does a little bit of a little bit of grind at the bottom, need to make that a bit nicer. Um, it's spinning and queuing up reasonably accurately. So I think one of the things that I'm realizing has got to be done with this, which I know Don, who I'm working with, um, who's doing all the code for this, is we need to make it so that uh, essentially it's really easy to set up, basically press a button. I would navigate this to the equator and uh, essentially GMT and then hit a button and that would zero everything. Because otherwise it would just be a nightmare trying to like by hand move this to the exact position. But anyway, for anyone who's interested, this is why it's been incredibly useful to have these little components called rotary encoders. Um, the bit on the back is my failed attempt to the previous thing, which I've since made much better. But anyway, the genius in these is that we would not be able to do it if we just use a standard rotary encoder that wasn't essentially absolutely coded. So I'll maybe do a little bit of an explanation for that. But essentially what it's doing is it's a little bit like a, you can almost imagine it like a, a vinyl record that it's got encoded in it all the data so it knows where it is. And a bit like playing a song, it knows where it is, the music on certain parts of the record as this spins round. So it's really quite incredible to think that this has got 1,024 increments, um, which it can then map onto the globe using code by someone much smarter than me. That'd be Don. Anyway, on with the show.